students, in the previous lectures, the topic of the geometric construction, we have learned about how to construct the triangles in the different ways. Suppose yes, 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 a, a, yes, or the right angle triangle. In the chapter, the previous, sorry, in the next subunity, the congruence of line segments. Congruence of line segments means when we have to draw the any line segments, then how to identify the, these segments are the congruence there. So here is our line segment. Suppose line segment AB is the four centimeter, and another segment is suppose I am going to do the segment PQ. Segment PQ is the five centimeter. It means segment AB is the four centimeter, but segment PQ is the five centimeter. In these two segments, there have uh, the equal uh, measure of these segments. It means these two segments are not equal or not the common. But when their measures are equal, then these two segments are the common segments. Suppose the other segments I have to draw here. Suppose segment PQ. Here is the second segment. Suppose segment PQ. And this segment PQ's length is four centimeter. It means segment AB and segment PQ. These two segments are the equal measure. These two segments are the equal measure. It means these two segments are the congruent segments. These two segments are congruent segments. And it will be writing here the segment AB or the segment AB congruent segment PQ. These two segments are congruent. Writing in this form, segment AB congruent segment PQ. It means this symbol is used to show the congruence. Congruence is called in Marathi the ekrutta. It means where the major equals or the major two segments are equal, then two segments are the equal or the congruence line segments. This is the first topic. Then another is the congruence of congruence of angles. How to uh, measure the angle? Uh, angle to measure of any angle in the degree form. So, congruence of the angles. Suppose here I can draw the angle A, B, or C. Suppose angle A, B, C is the 50 degree. And another angle, suppose angle P, Q, or R. This angle is the 50 degree. It means these two angles are the equal measure. Angle ABC measure is 50 degree. Angle PQR measure is 50 degree. It means two angles are the equal measure. It means these two angles are the congruent angles. These two angles are the congruent angles. And it can be written down the angle ABC congruent. Use the symbol of the congruent. Angle ABC congruence angle P Q R. This is the form to writing these two angles are the congruence. It means congruence angle A B C congruence angle P Q R. This is the second subunit congruence of angles. In the previous we have learned congruence of line segment. It means when the line segments are the equal measures, these two line segments are the congruence angles. When the two angles or the three angles are the equal measure or the equal degree angles, then these two angles are the equal angles. Another is the congruence of circle. The third part is congruence of circle. Where we can draw the any circle. Suppose I can draw here one circle. This circle is five centimeter radius circle. And then another circle. Suppose the circle is 5 cm radius. It means these two circles are the equal radius. To so using the construct of this circle, we have to using the same radius of that circle. Suppose so, it is O or it is P. These two circles are the equal radius. It means these two circles are the congruence to each other. Congruence to each other means the equal 
equal the radius of the circle equal radius of the circle that circles are the part that circles are the congruent and the symbol of the congruent is that the using of the symbol of the congruent is that same okay these three parts are the in this circle the congruent of the line segments congruent of the angles and congruent of the circles when circles are the congruent when circles are the congruent the equal radius of the circle has a congruent of or the congruent of the